Well everybody, turkey season's right around the corner and if you're anything like us, you're probably pretty dang excited about it. Every year we have hunts from the previous spring and start releasing them leading up into this year's turkey tour. So this video will be the first of many turkey videos on the channel here for the next several months. I ended up missing most of turkey season last year. Tore my ACL in February, had surgery mid-March, so needless to say I'm chomping at the bit to go turkey hunting. I'm also really excited about going to the NWTF convention in Nashville starting February 15th. The whole THP crew will be there. We always enjoy getting to meet you guys and the convention's a great opportunity to do that and get some time to hang out. Also at the show, our new spring lineup will be available and we got cool new designs. They'll also be available on our website, thehuntingpublic.com. So in this video, Hayden's going to be hunting with our buddy Shane Simpson. And there's kind of a funny backstory of how these guys ended up hunting together. Last season we released a video where Hayden was filming his fiance Allie. She shot her first turkey in Minnesota. So of course they take a picture with the turkey where they got it. And about a week later Hayden was on Instagram and he noticed on Shane Simpson's page that he had a photo that looked weirdly similar. So Hayden reached out to Shane. After some discussion they realized that both those turkeys were shot about 75 yards apart from each other. So they were hunting the same area and they decided to meet up and go on a hunt together. The action ends up being pretty unique and we really appreciate you guys watching our turkey videos and we wish the best of luck to you this spring. All right, I made it to Minnesota. I just met up with Shane. We chatted for a little bit, talked about our hunts so far this year, and then came up with a plan for roosting this evening. We're splitting up, taking two vehicles so we can cover more ground and talked about which areas each of us are gonna hit and try to get a, a number of birds roosted this evening and just pick the one that's in the easiest spot if there is one, I suppose. We saw pretty close to here, there's a few birds strutting in a field. Pretty close to where we met up, actually, we saw six toms that were strutting in a field real close by to public. So pretty close to where uh, Allie and I had heard some off the roost last week, so I, I have a pretty good idea of where those ones are going to go roost for a backup plan at, at the minimum. But hopefully we can find a, a handful of birds to choose from, and then we're going to meet up, get some sleep for the evening, and be after them in the morning. It's number three. Try to loop around and get another line on this bird. I just hit another mother load. I done got about three or four of the birds to gobble, but I got right here and an owl hootie. One gobble there, one gobble there, and another one gobble there, and there, and there, and there's like four of them over here, or five maybe, and then one back here. two right there. You mark them on the map. Got one back this way, a couple there, and a couple there. All right, it's about 4.30. Shane and I just pulled up to the lot. Nobody was here. There was one truck at a lot that we passed on the way in, but should have plenty of distance between us and him. Last night, Shane and I split up and roosted a ton of birds and picked the one that seemed to be in the best spot. He's right on, on a point where we can get above him pretty easily. And then if he doesn't work out, there's three or four other birds in here that Shane heard. So neither of us have ever been in this spot, so we don't know exactly how it sets up, but there's enough moonlight out where we should be able to find a good spot in the in the dark and get set up before he wakes up. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I'm good with that. That's it. Sounded about like the plan I thought of. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's hunt. Yeah, this is right about where our pin was. I think we'll just stand here and listen for a little bit, just get a better ear on where he's at. Yeah, I could see him coming up here potentially even. We're about 200 yards from that pin right now. I think we'll probably end up moving up a little further, but want to hear him first. At some point we may, if those birds start lighting it up over there, if we get back on that transition line, that would probably be perfect. But we're pretty close to that bird. Pretty roosted last night. I think he was in the best place. That's closer. Yeah. That's two different ones. If I can follow this edge and just get to like there, yeah. maybe back a little bit further. At the very least, just moving closer and get a better beat yeah. on where they're at. Yeah, it's 150. Yeah. There's, there's multiples. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Some birds out on that long finger ridge, but we started 
one gobbled twice at least. Right below us, it sound like. I think I just heard that one out on that point. Definitely went off to the right there. Yeah, based on based on the situation now, I'm starting to wonder if we shouldn't have pursued those, and even though they were quiet. Get a little closer, but either way, we're in a pretty good spot. Yeah, we're between a bunch of them, so yeah, it's not like it ends as soon as they stop gobbling. Yeah, Shane and I moved in on our backup group of birds. We never heard the plan A birds, so we moved in on these ones, and they're, they're over the slip down in this bottom below us. But they went quiet once they hit the ground. We're assuming they have a bunch of hens with them. I think we're just gonna hang out here and listen for a little bit, give it 30 minutes, and then regroup and come up with a plan after that. But a good place for them to work up to this ridge top if they do want to come up so we're just gonna hang out and listen yeah that sounds like it's over that far ridge but see the sun's starting to pop up behind yeah. us they're starting to gobble yeah might mean they're starting to move around i think the next move go out to that point, maybe hoot to see if we can get a better pin on them and maybe loop around and get on that ridge above them, I think would be. Yeah, that would be ideal. That's what I would do next, or if we want to pop over there and check those birds first before doing that, since we're over here. Might Just a little. I looked at my map and I said, we're still on the same side. Yeah. I think she pitched off from pretty far down there, so I don't even know how she saw us. Shane and I are just working this bench above where most of those birds were gobbling this morning. We just saw a hen pitch off and fly across the valley. I think you were probably getting ready to hoot right up here. I right? was, yeah. yeah. I was getting ready to turn the camera on and you stopped. She was right down in there. Yeah. She may just be one that's broke off in the floor. Yeah, that's all we can hope for. Yeah, I didn't hear any putting in anything. No. She just, that's pretty right there. Yeah, it's real pretty. That's exactly what I was thinking as I was coming around this corner. It's like definitely hooting here because it looks real good. Yeah. Sure enough, there's one right below us. A lot of big oaks right here too. Yeah. This will be a good little spot. Yeah. I think just, if one gobbles close by, we can slip up in that cover there. I think even draw back to that tree we were just yeah, at. That'd be a good, actually a better spot. Yeah. Sounded kind of turkeyish down the bottom of the hill. Twelve o'clock. Yeah. A cluck or something. Yeah. Hey, Still here. Here, walk it. I hear walking. Let it do. Get your gun off your shoulder. Where's it coming from?
There's more assembly up and yeah. she's kind of wanting to join up. She's much closer too. Mm -hmm. She still sounds like she's about 100 yards down the hill. Yeah. I wonder if she, that hen that flushed off has now got her talking. That's what she's I'm thinking. She's trying to assemble that hen back to her. Yeah. I feel like the gobblers have to be with her. Unless it's Juvie's little Jennies walking around together. Just like you know, have, you know, have two or three drakes off yeah. by themselves. The Jennies do the same thing a lot of times. Yeah. The mature hens will be with the toms. Just left that hen and we're easing around this ridge and we can hear one that just gobbled twice. Seems like he's right around the corner and just over the lip, but on our ridge. So we're gonna keep easing down here till we get better ears on him and hopefully get in tight. Gobbling again. He's gobbling on his own. He's, we were talking about that. It's about time for him to yeah. start gobbling. Sun's getting up. Yeah, that next little ditch. Cause it's pretty much a bare cliff face. Yeah, I think they're, they're over the other side of, like over the other side of this ridge in front of us. Just give it it wouldn't hurt the heat. Yeah, just in case they're up top here. <laughs> yes, he gobbled over here. I think it's that way. Oh, it sounded like me that way. Good. Anyway. Either way, he's over the place. He's in that, he's in that direction. Yeah. <laughs> Lower in elevation though. Yeah. We might be by ourselves trying to round up some hands now. Yeah. You can look for morales after you kill a goblin. It's off our point right now here. Yeah. Probably up there, they were probably strutting in that little clearing on the hillside this morning. Gobble again. Yeah. Hit him with your old hoo hoo. Hoo hoo Clear air, straight, straight across. Straight across. You might be able to see him on the hillside with binoculars. Slide over that tree and stand up. And I'm gonna hoot again and see if you can tell if he's coming from the lowest or across. got to this slip and got this bird to gobble and found out he's across this valley so we're gonna hoot at him one more time and get a better year on him then we're gonna drop down on this bottom cross this ravine and get on his ridge with him we're gonna get up on the same hill and then side hill as close as we can to him and hopefully calm around that edge but we're gonna get ears on him one more time and then start moving drum i thought i heard a drum i heard a boom That's what I was just, we were, we were just discussing. We've been using locator calls. There could actually be a bird on this ridge that's not answering. And then we're afraid to use turkey calls because we don't want that bird moving yet. Because there was three or four over this way this morning. Yeah, I heard that thump, but I don't yeah. know what it was. It sounded too loud to be a drum almost. Yeah. It was like a single note from a grouse. Yeah. yeah. I did too. It's right that way. Yeah. To your right. Maybe one's strutting in that little clear. Yeah. Right no, there. No, it's a gobbler. He's like right, right there. there. I can see him. Oh, he's right there. Can you see him? No. Not tree him away. He's right on the edge. Can you shoot him? No. Oh, I see him. He just flew. If I was one step to the right here, I could have shot him. I saw his head pop up. There's another one there. There's another one that gobbled. That wasn't him that gobbled. You think we can slide up to that? Yeah. Did he? Did he? 
Yeah, the other one was that one. Did he fly? Yeah. Okay, he I flew for sure. Clear girl. I thought that it was his wings dragging at first, and then I was like, no, that's how he flew. flew. <laughs> he just went off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting ready to take flight. Yeah, I was hoping, I was hoping he'd stop, but I didn't. <laughs> oh my gosh, gosh I was like, <laughs> shoot him. <laughs> oh, that was crazy, dude. He's 300 feet down the hill now. <laughs> I, know. We were, I was feeling pretty happy that we didn't have to bomb down that cliff, but now we got to do it anyway. <laughs> How cool is that? That was so cool. We were just talking about those other birds around here and I was afraid to just go move with just locator calls. Yep. And luckily we heard one drum. I was almost tempted to run a pot call or something here yeah. just to see if any are nearby. Hey, what time is it? What time did I predict? 8.57. I think you said 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Let's go see if he's at the bottom of the hill or just laying. I think he's down the cliff, but heck yeah. But when he was strutting, walking through there, it's so thick. All these branches here are way too thick. I didn't want to shoot through that. Yeah, look at, look at, we were skyline. Yeah. Man, I am shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I can't even hold the camera still. Here he is. He got caught up. He got caught up in that cedar. Oh, wow. Good thing he did. <laughs> that'd yeah, be a, that'd be a look, long way down. That's like 300 feet straight down. <laughs> Better get him. He's going. Got him just in time. <laughs> That was like a, a runway he was getting ready to take Yeah, flight. he was going to do exactly what that other bird did. I thought you missed it first because like when you shot it, it almost looked like it looked like he was about to still flapping or, yeah. or flapping. I think he was, it was his momentum that just carried him. Yeah, when I saw him do a front flip, I yeah. knew I hit him. Yeah. <laughs> that one that came and took a look the first time, I think he was the looker. Yeah. And this is the one we heard drumming. I wonder why, like what prompted him to come up there even because maybe it's just he heard us moving through the brush and he came and looked. Possibly, you know, he can get on that little point there and gobble. Yeah. But why did he drum on his own? And we Probably both, we he both got heard that it. opening and was just strutting because he was in an opening, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you think about it, the, the, goblin's not the only vocalization they use to locate yeah. hens. I'm betting hens can hear that 10 times better than we can. Yeah. I mean, we hear it pretty easily, but they probably can hear it. That's some of the loudest I've ever heard it. Like, it was almost so loud it didn't seem... It like sounded like a truck going yeah. in the distance or a car speaker. Yeah. That's why I said it sounded like one... I didn't hear the roll, though. I just heard the... Yeah. Almost like one single grouse drum. Yeah. Yep. Man, that's cool. That was awesome. <laughs> Hayden's going to walk over there where we were set up at.
You know, I mean, you look like a dark blob. He came right down this little lane right here. And uh, that's what he saw. Yeah, we had all this good cover right here. And it wasn't until he broke out into the open, you had a shot and he had a clear line of sight. So it was, who was quicker? He almost beat you. <laughs> he just went off the cliff. <laughs> he was getting ready to take flight. Yeah, I was hoping, I was hoping he'd stop, but I didn't. Oh my gosh, gosh that was... shoot him. <laughs> oh, that was crazy, dude. He's 300 feet down the hill now. <laughs>